So yesterday, I got crazy and started taking down Halloween and then decided that I just really wanted it done and I overdid it, which I know, shocker that I would do that. Oh, look, there's a skeleton over there that I missed. Well, I'll grab it. But anyway, I overdid it. Your body, it'll tell you <laughs> loud and clear when you have overdone what you're doing. But luckily, a fabulous dumpster salvage item came to the rescue. I'm watching Gardener's World. That's it from us. Getting ready to do some laundry. Hold on. We got the gloves and whatnot sorted. And uh, I've been doing word searches. Thank you, frugal friends, who have sent us so many fabulous word searches. I'm in a word search mood lately. I don't know why. This is the fabulous dumpster salvaged item from the pharmacy dumpsters that has come in so handy after all that madness <laughs> of hurrying to get the uh, Halloween display down. Someday I will learn to pace myself. Until then, we have a heating pad. Resting. I have found a comfortable comfortable position. So I'm resting. I'm watching Gardener's World, dreaming of all of the fall garden prep that I want to be doing. And I'm writing. I've got my laptop and I'm writing because I have to stay right here anyhow. I get some movement. You are supposed to get some movement uh, to so that your body doesn't stiffen up too much. Got to keep the blood flowing. And so I do little laps around the house and I'll get down on the floor and get back up and down on the floor and get back up just to try to stay limber, try to get loose and stay loose. But this is a perfect time to catch up on my writing that I have not been doing in way too long. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do here for a little bit. Rest is important or so my body keeps trying to tell me. All of the hanging ghouls are in their tote, ready to go out to the shed. It is a slow process, especially being um, still dealing with my back injury. Uh, but it's going to be slow anyway because I want everything sorted properly. I've gathered up all of the really long extension cords. We'll keep these out because I am going to put up some Christmas lights. I have all of the bones and dolls and heads and skeletons. Um, oh, and a little bit of the cemetery stuff that needs to be separated out from these, but, um, just gathered them in these piles makes it easier when we bring the totes out to just throw them all into the correct tote. More Midsummer murders, of course, been gathering all of the lights, some of which we'll keep out because we'll use those out in the yard for Christmas, especially these red and green spotlights, but the specifically Halloween lights, time to wrap those up and put them away. And now a bit of rest. Yes, I am absolutely resting. I do admit I've overdone it a little bit this morning. Yep. But because of some other stuff that's going on in the house, I kind of have to. We need, you guys know, I always say, before you take on a big project that's gonna make a big mess, try to have like as much of other stuff cleaned up as possible. I'm gonna rest for a minute and then I'll tell you the other situation. Oh, the joys of home ownership. Is home ownership frugal? Let's talk about that. Skulls, skeletons, body parts, except for the big skeletons. Those will have to be stored separately. To write down five things about herself, like a favorite animal, book, food, or sport, on a slip of paper. Put the slips of paper into a bag. Take turns drawing slips, reading them out loud. Then see if the other club member can guess who the mystery girl is. Mimi and I have started our girls' flower club. Yeah. And uh, we've had an amazing, delicious breakfast yes. of eggs and bacon. Mmm. I need to try the bacon. Yes, and we've used special Thanksgiving napkins. Mm-hmm. And this is good. you like it? Yeah. We came up with a cheer. The very first um card we had was the club banner. Yep, and that it's is right club. there. Then girls chess club. So we got this out, but we're gonna play checkers. Yeah. Well, we might play chess. Yeah. 
And then the we were supposed to come up with a cheer. Yeah. So should we tell them what it is? Sure. Ready? Sure. One, two, three, four. F L O W E R. Flower. 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 That's our cheer. Yeah. And now we're gonna finish eating, and then we're gonna do this one, which is who's that girl? We're going to here. I'll read the instructions to you. Break the ice and get to know club members with this guessing game. Each I mean ask each member to write down five things about herself, like a favorite animal, book, food, or sport, on a slip of paper. Put the slips of paper into a bag. Take turns drawing slips and reading them out loud. Then see if the other members can guess who the mystery girl is. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what we're doing. Well, but we also need to play our checkers or chess. And we also need to finish eating. Yeah. But how exciting! We are doing our first girls club meeting! Woo! So I'm sitting here using the heating pad and resting after doing just a couple of chores this morning. And I am now in Mariah's salon, although in this game, her name is Florinda. And she has made a menu of the services that they offer and also uh, the snacks and the drinks. For now, I'm having the complimentary power aid here at Florinda's. And um, we've got like stuff that we need that she's gonna use. And right now she is in the crafting center making money for me to be able to pay for this salon service. This is a, a happy little Saturday here at the, the Frugal Family Home. James is in Moab, Utah on a bike ride, cruising down the rocks <laughs> on his <laughs> mountain bike. Reagan and Olivia just got back from a little shopping trip to the crystal store and got some crystals. I'll show you pictures of them right here. And they're excited. This is the latest kick that Olivia is on. You know how my kids and I, we have different um, passions that we're into for a week or a month or however long. We'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they went and used some of Olivia's money that she had earned. And she got Reagan a crystal and got herself a crystal. And she actually had gotten some before. Oh, Mimi has brought me the money that she just crafted. So that's awesome. $20. $20 to spend. I'll need some for tip also because I will want to leave a tip. Okay. So that would be in like singles, like dollars. Um, no, I want to leave a bigger tip than that because I know you'll do an amazing job. Anyway, so while um, I am resting because I'm doing a better job of it today, uh, while I'm resting, Mimi will be doing my hair and Olivia's working on something. She's designing a prom dress for next year. Anime themed. Anime themed, of course. Would we expect anything different? <laughs> and um, I actually just looked up and found um, an anime that we might watch together. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But my cousin posted about it on Facebook. Fireflies? Yeah. Something to do with fireflies, but it's about... Yeah, it's about like... Um, World War II and stuff in Japan. So I'm actually interested. Might be something we can watch together. Anyway, that's what we're doing while, uh, while, uh, while we're chilling here today. Reagan's probably doing Minecraft or something on the computer. He has earned so much computer time. Boy has worked really hard this morning. So anyway, I'm going to get my hair done now here at Mariah Florinda's Salon. <laughs> here's yep. my hairbrush. All of your things. And here's the hairspray. Here's a comb. And here's some snipping scissors. And also here's the little headband. Well, ponytail. Yeah, ponytail. Yeah. So fabulous. Don't I have just the best stylist? Yeah. And the cutest ever? Yeah. And this is my little snowman thing. I <laughs> chose it at the store before I came to work here. It's actually... A gift that mommy gave her a couple years ago. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to have to let you guys go now so that I can get my hair done and, and focus. Bye. Bye.
Mimi and I are pretending we are working in a supermarket, but actually we're down here in our laundry room. Mimi's standing on the washing machine and we are putting away empty jars and um, the excess of our bottling from um, this fall that mommy has done. What was our pretend names now? I am still, wait, what was my name? You were Florinda. I'm still Florinda, dear Lucille. Yes. Anyway, um, don't worry about that cord next to her. That is not a power cord. So I know someone will say something about it, but it's not. We've got laundry going and you were getting a bit of a look at the organizing that needs to happen here in the laundry room. 90% of these supplies that you're seeing are dumpster salvaged and um, Mom, smell this. is it delish? Some of you will recognize this. Oh yes, it is fabulous. Uh, yeah, some of these you will recognize, but they definitely need to get sorted and organized. Uh, but we're not doing that today. Today, we're just doing the jars. Thank you, Mimi, for being a fabulous helper. Here to tell us the story is Olivia. So what happened? First there was darkness, then light, <laughs> then I breathed in. <laughs> oh Lord. So the other night, we're all the snoozing. Other, yeah, the other night I'm, I'm laying down um, and then there was like, I felt this drop lot on my foot and then I felt another one and I'm like, Mimi, is that you? And she's like, no. And it's like way out here, so I was like, it's not Mimi. So I go and turn on the light, and I look up, and I see water droplets coming down. But then I see something like illuminated that looks like, it looks like a bubble. But then Dad, I like yell out for Dad, and he's like, he finally comes up, and he's like, what's going on? And he shines his light up there, and there's this giant bubble right here. And then later From we the noticed, ceiling. Yeah. And then later we noticed another one. Turns out that one in the far corner, underneath the paint, it had been rotting away already. So. So what was the problem? What happened to make all this happen? Um, something wrong with the toilet. So the upstairs toilet was yeah. leaking through the seal or through and the floor. And I thought it was pee dripping on me when I had to hold up the bucket. But it wasn't. No, it was the clean water. It just had been sitting there for so long that it turned yellow. And was stinky. Yeah. And was nasty. So it was quite a traumatic night for all involved. So now, what do we have to do? We have to get everything out of our room, and then we have to tear out the ceiling. <laughs> and we're replacing the toilet. Daddy and Reagan, where are they? They're out getting a new toilet. So... We have a lot going on because here at the Frugal Family, when it rains, it hails. And then dogs and cats fall from the sky and start like their own new kingdom over the earth. So that's what we're doing this weekend and this week. Um, we are tearing out the ceiling from the girls' room and possibly the floor from the upstairs bathroom. It is always a roller coaster, never a dull moment. So let's talk about home ownership. Is it really frugal? I don't know. I am grateful that we own our home, our own little piece of heaven. <laughs> but sometimes one has to wonder, is the American dream really worth it? No, it is. It really is, knowing that as long as we pay our mortgage, no one can kick us out, no one can evict us, we can put holes in the walls or the floors whenever, you know, the fancy strikes us or the toilet leaks, and, and it's on us. And we don't have to wait for a landlord or property or owner to get around to taking care of it or whatever. <sighs> no one's going to raise the rent on us, and especially in this housing market lately here in the state of Utah, where things are insane, and it would cost 
two to three times as much to rent this house as we pay in mortgage. Yay for buying a house 13 years ago. Um, but really, sometimes, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I obviously will not be participating in the majority of this. I am still recovering from my back injury and I'm getting my back worked on again tomorrow morning. It's taking forever. Um, and so I've ended up having to spend a lot of time downstairs to be close to the working bathroom. And that gets old really fast. It does. But while I've been down there, I've had a lot of time to, to dream and to think and to make all kinds of wonderful plans for things that the Frugal family is going to be doing throughout the holiday season. So stay tuned. We're coming up with a lot of good ideas. And it's going to be an, an adventure. And here on this channel, not on the main channel, The Frugal Family, but here on our vlog channel, we will be doing Vlogmas where we do a fun little video uh, celebrating the holiday season around the world, exploring different cultures and traditions. We'll be doing that through the month of December. So working on that as I get lots of time to sit and stretch and lay there and sit and stretch and lay there and do laps around the house. Um... Lots of good stuff. Been doing a lot of research. We will be looking a lot at pagan Christmas origins and Christmas in Italy and Christmas in Norway, um, among other places. So if you guys have any really fun Christmas traditions, family traditions, um, not even necessarily just Christmas, but other winter holidays that are important to you and your family, please tell us all about it in the comments. Um, we're so open to more ideas, other foods, and things that we should try. I am definitely jumping on the Bafana train that is a a witch <laughs> that comes at Christmas. I'm keeping out some of the Halloween um, supplies in order to do that up proper. So stay tuned for that. But please do tell us about your own uh, winter holiday traditions so that uh, we can all share in that together. Have a great day. We will see. Oh, Mariah desperately wants me to tell you about Glog. That is one of the things we will be um, trying. trying and enjoying from the Norway uh, list of, of Christmas and holiday traditions. Glog. And plus they talk about it in Frozen, you know, so we have to. Glog. Plus it's just really fun to say <laughs> yeah. Glog. Wait, Mom, what was the other fun name that we've heard of? Oh, that was one that I kind of like furf and snoozin' or something like that. Yeah. Or feffer snoozin'. Yeah, feffer that, snoozin'. Yeah, that was actually just my mispronunciation of some Swedish or Norwegian name of some kind of food. What is it actually called? I can't remember what it really is. I only like my version, Pfeffer Snoozin, because that's just really fun. Anyway, we're going to go. We got stuff to do. Yeah. Well, I need to go use the heating pad again. But uh, <clears throat> these guys have chores to do, and I get to, you know, direct the choir here. And, um, yeah, just call me maestro. See you soon. Bye.